Hello everyone, my name is Amanda Waldhart and you are here with amandasinspirationstation.com. Can you believe that today is the last Wednesday in April? I can't get over how fast time has flown, especially with all the stuff we all had to deal with, COVID and everything. I just, I still feel like time has just flown by. So May 4th starts the new annual catalog. I am super excited about that. And this is what the new catalog looks like. Um, so I can't wait. Um, if you do not have a current demonstrator um, and you would like me to mail one of these to you, I would be more than happy to mail one for free. Um, it, it would be free with a $20 purchase. Um, and you can go to amandasinspirationstation.com and place an order and then um, I would mail you a catalog for free. So there's that. Um, in the new catalog, we have five new in colors um, and they are Fresh Freesia, Polished Pink, Evening Evergreen, Soft Succulent, and Pale Papaya. And the reason why I'm telling you is because today you're gonna to get a sneak peek of some of those new colors. So we're going to use the Friendly Flamingo Bundle, which is found in your January through June mini catalog. Um, I like this, I like the little flamingo. She's cute. And I'm using the new polished pink color for her. I think this color is gorgeous. I am a huge, fan of the magenta madness and i'm a huge fan of the melon mambo so and blushing bride those are probably my three favorite pinks um and now you add this one in and i love it um flirty flamingo i like but it's not my favorite i would much rather have the polished pink and there is a difference so let me just show you this is the melon mambo here's the polished pink and when you're looking at it through paper or once it is stamped there is a difference, but I definitely love these colors. Uh, I They're just gorgeous. They're great pinks. I love them. Okay, so we are going to use a couple things today. So for the sake of the video, I've already gone ahead and done some of the background um, embossing, and I wanted just to share with you which ones I did. So for this card here, I did the seabed embossing folder. Um, so when we get to that, I'll point that out too. And then for this one, I used the subtle embossing folder. Now the subtle and the seabed both are leaving. They are on the retired list. So you only have until May 3rd to get those or while supplies last. Um, so there's definitely some product to, um, get if there's things that you want. Um, yesterday I did um, a video using the Apple Builder Punch and the Harvest Hellos. Those are still available. Um, again, that punch is $7.20. What a steal. All right. The other in color, I'm kind of all over the board and I'm sorry. We're going to be using two of the other in colors. So this color right here is the Evening Evergreen. And then this is the um, Soft Succulent. I think they all three look gorgeous together too. And I'm really excited to go ahead and share with you these projects. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, I did want to say also going back to placing orders um, with, you know, the retired list, um, those are only going to be while well supplies last and available until May 3rd, and it is right around the corner. I do have a special that's mine in the month of April. If you spend $50 before shipping and tax, I will mail you for free a simple chamois, a $8 value, um, for just a thank you gift for um, shopping with me. So if you did that, you'd get this and the catalog if you needed the catalog. So there's that. All right, we're going to start with the pink one first. Um, and we're going to also use the new er newer because it's in the mini catalog the january through june um the double oval punch so we're going to use that so these are the sizes that we need we're going to use basic black here and this measures at five and a half by eight and a half and i have it scored at four and a quarter and i'm going to use my bone folder still though because i still want to varnish in that cr that crease line okay 
I have two pieces that are exactly the same size. One is the basic white, one is the polished pink. These both measure at four um, by five and a quarter, and they're perfect for the inside. So we have the inside, and then we have the outside. Now this is the one that I ran through the um, cut and emboss machine already um, using the subtle texture. I, I gotta be honest, I'm gonna miss that. I, I really liked the subtle texture. So, now I don't think this one I have any stamp in it, but I do have a stamp saying in the other card. So we don't need to stamp, so we can go ahead and just put our basic white insert right ahead inside. And we're going to put this on flat, so we don't need dimensional. So I've got my stamp and seal. We're just gonna go ahead and put that. Now I do have a couple more pieces here um, of basic white and basic black. So the basic black measures at three by four and a half, and the white measures at two and two two and three fourths by four and a quarter. Um, and that's just so that it can fit right inside there. So we're gonna stamp on this, and then we are going to use our dimensionals to pop that up. And then I just have some scraps here for my oval. So let's go ahead and let's let's do some punching and then we'll do some stamping. So I'm going to punch my scallop in the black and then I'm going to do the insert in the white. So I have that, so now we're done with that because we're gonna stamp on both of our white pieces. All right, now I have my paper piercing mat and some Stamparatus grid. Um, I like to put that on top when I'm stamping using the photopolymer, especially in a bigger image. Um, whenever you're using your photopolymer in a bigger image, I would highly recommend putting this underneath. You need that cushion. Otherwise, sometimes the image in the center does not work well. But on the same time, you could always use your stamparatus and then you could go over it a couple of times because it would be in the spot that you needed it in. But I did not bring out my Stamparatus, so we're just going to go ahead and do it like this. So we're going to get out the polished pink. And I, I put my gray paper on here, I going back to that. The reason why I do that is I don't care that ink gets on this. That, that doesn't really bother me. The problem is that sometimes when ink gets on here, though, then it smudges. It smudges on my fingers, and then it gets on my cards, or it smudges on my cards. Whereas if I have the paper... It doesn't smudge, so that's why I do it. All right, so we're gonna use the polished pink and we're gonna go ahead and we're going to stamp our flamingo. Oh, see, I love it. And I just realized too that we need to get out some matte. I gotta get out my little current box here. We need some matte black um, dots because we're gonna use those, so we'll put those aside. All right, so for the next thing, we're not going to be using um, an ink pad because this particular stamp, which let me just show you, is this one right here, and it I want it, I want it to have two colors. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use our stamp and write markers, and I have here um, Pear Pizzazz and um, Coastal Cabana. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna color the water part on here in Coastal Cabana, just right over the, the stamp. This is called a huff technique. You're gonna see it, I don't know. People call it different things. I call it the huff technique because you're gonna have to huff on it. And when I say huff, yes, that's exactly what I mean. Because now I want the moisture from it to give a good ink impression. So I'm going to put it up to my mouth and I'm gonna go, like that, and huff on it, and then I'm gonna stamp. And then voila, I got the two colors. Fun, fun. Okay, now I'm also going to use Wink Estella because I like the flamingo a little shimmery. So I'm gonna get out my Wink Estella and I'm just gonna kinda color in, make this little flamingo have glitter. She needs to sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. All right. I don't know if the lighting, if it shows that she's sparkling, but she is sparkling from my end here. 
All right, let's see if is she sparkling. All right, so I'm gonna let her dry for a minute before I put on her little eyes. So um, let's go ahead and stamp our image over here. Um, just be you. And I just realized that I don't have that part out on a on a block. So we'll get that part on a block. And we're gonna get back out the polished pink ink pad. And we're just going to stamp it over to the left side because I'm gonna use the little flower over here to stamp on the right side, just like that. And then we're gonna take our little, um, well, let's do our dots last. So we'll use our stamp and seal. All right, and now we're gonna do our little dots. And I'm gonna do, there's two sizes, there's smaller and larger. Um, actually, it almost looks like there's three sizes, but no, that's, it's not, it's two sizes. Oopsie. I'm going to put that one there. And I'm gonna flip it over because I'm going to put um, dimensionals on the back of it. I'm not gonna peel the dimensionals just yet because I'm not gonna apply it on just yet. So we'll set that aside. So now let's flip this over because we're gonna attach it to our black cardstock. And we're gonna center that. And then we're gonna flip this over and we're gonna put some dimensionals on the back of that. And we're gonna peel those. Okay, don't need that. All right, so now let's get our card out. And I'm not gonna center it. I am gonna kind of off center it more towards the left. Um, and that is because I want this to be able to go across it so that part of it's on this piece and part of it's on this piece. So there's that. And then we're gonna use one of these little small ones for the eyes. And there we go. There's our card. That was not hard. It was a pretty simple card. And it says, just be you. And you can put whatever you want in it. I think it's cute. All right. So now that we have that, I'm trying to make some room here. I'm gonna set this aside and let's go to this card over here. And this one is a little bit different in the fact that we're not doing a lot of stamping with this one. I actually think that this is one of those bundles that it's, it's just, it's perfect. Sometimes you have an image that you have to, um, you know, stamp and then die cut out. I think with this, it's perfect because yes, you could stamp the flamingo and leave it. You could stamp the flamingo and cut it out, or you can just not use this and use strictly just the dies to create your flamingo as well. And that's what we're going to do for this one. So, I've already, for the sake of the video, I did go ahead and I cut out um, cut out my little flamingo. But I will show you, this is what the flamingo looks like, the die. Um, and then this is what this looks like for this. But then you also have this die. So there's two dies here. This one would be for this flamingo. This one would be if we were to cut this one out. So if we wanted to cut this one out, we would have put this over the top like this and cut that one out. But if we're just cutting it for the sake of this way, then it goes this way, which is kind of nice because then you, you really get two, you get two out of it. All right. And then of course they have the, the wings too. So there's that. I just wanted to share with you with it. Um, I like the flamingo. All right. So we went ahead and we did that embossing folder that the seabed embossing folder that I showed you. We did it on two pieces of cardstock and I'm gonna show you which ones in a second here. So first of all, we have our card base measures at eight and a half by 11. I'm sorry, five and a half by eight and a half, sorry. That's, nor that's the original card base, eight and a half by 11. I cut it in half to be five and a half 
by eight and a half. And if I were to score it like I did the first card, I'd score it at four and a quarter, but I did not score this one. Um, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. It depends on how um, ambitious I'm feeling, <laughs> to be honest. All right, still use your bone folder. This piece measures at four by five and a quarter, and this is the one that I had already gone through and ran it through the cut emboss machine um, with the seabed embossing folder. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to place that, center that on my card, okay? And basically what I'm doing is I'm doing color on color. So isn't this, you know what, stop. Let's, Amanda, stop talking for a minute. <laughs> um, well, I'm gonna talk again though. So isn't this gorgeous, this evening evergreen? I think this is so pretty. Um, I, I definitely think this will be a very pretty Christmas green. It'll be pretty with the Mary Merlot. Um, and cherry cobbler. So I just wanted to throw that out there. All right, so this one here measures at four and a fourth by three and a fourth, and then the white is um, four by three. Again, I wanted the texture, um, so I ran it through the that embossing folder. And I'm going to place that then, just center that right in the center there. And I am going to go ahead and I'm going to flip this over because we're going to pop this up on our card. And we are going to center this one. So we may as well just go ahead and do that right now. And we're just going to center that over. And I kind of like the way that looks like that. So we'll center it like this. All right. Just like that. And then I have these two... I don't know what you want to even call these. So I'm not going to call them greenery things is basically what it is. So I'm going to kind of flip it over and I'm just going to kind of, kind of put some adhesive in some little spots. I really should get out my green glue and that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> I don't know why sometimes I bother doing that because I always end up in the long run getting out my green glue doing that. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to place one like that. And I did not put a little dot there, so let's do a little dot there. And then we'll do this. I would love if you're watching this video and you have the stamp set already. Um, I would love to see how you use yours. All right, there we go. There we go. See, this is one thing why I don't use it. I love green glue, but I always get it on my fingers. Always, always, always. All right, so let's get out our flamingo here. We're gonna put on its wing, but I'm going to pop that part up. So I'm just gonna put a little dimensional on the back of that, and I'm going to go like that, okay? And then I have these two pieces here. Now, this piece here measures at um, two and a half by three fourths, and this piece measures two, sorry, two, um, two by a half. Boy, I botched that one up, didn't I? And we're gonna use the pick a banner um, punch because you could take your scissors through the center of that, but mine never turn out well at all. So with that said, I like to use the punch. And actually what I'm gonna do, I'm going to, there we go. And let's make sure I have this right before I glue it down. Yep, perfect, okay. So now with this one, we're gonna stamp two things with this one. We're gonna stamp happy birthday on the outside, but then on the inside we're gonna stamp hoping your day is as amazing as you are. So I'm gonna get out the polished pink um, ink pad, which you all can purchase May 4th, unless you want to sign up for the starter kit. Um, if you sign up for the starter kit and you join um, the Stampin' Up! community and the Crafty Cats. Um, that is my team name, and we all have just a wonderful time. That's our team name. And 
you are more than welcome to, um, we would love to have you join that. Then you could have it earlier. You could have all the stuff earlier, always, plus a discount, but that's not what this video is about, so just wanted to throw that out there. All right, so there's that. And I do have a tiny little tiny tiny bit here, so I'm just gonna snip that. And I'm also going to put some dimensionals on the back of that. Same with that. All right, so now let's go ahead and stamp this center here. And we're gonna stamp that right in the middle. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. All right, get this glue put away. So there's our card. Now we just have to attach this stuff. And easy peasy. All right, so we're gonna put that right there. And then I'm gonna put this right here. And I'm going to line up this leg right here to the edge of this. I just think it looks better, lining it up. Okay, and then I'm gonna use my little matte black um, dots for the eye that I just dropped. Oh, where did it go? Okay, I heard it. Well, I guess we just won't use that one, it's fine. There we go. And there's that. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed this week's Weekly Wednesday um, and you got a little sneak peek of the few of the new ink colors. Again, there still are two more um, and I will quickly show you because they're so gorgeous. So here is the Soft Succulent and Evening Evergreen in the ink pad, just like we use. So these are the three colors. Um, aren't they pretty together? I just love them. But then we also have the Fresh Freesia, which... Again, I think that all looks great together, too. And then we have the Pale Papaya. And I think all of them look well together and on their own. Plus, they coordinate with other stamp sets. Like, they're great with other colors. Not stamp sets, sorry. Um, stampings. They're just, they're great colors. So... I'm really excited about these ones. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Um, if you, if this is your first time watching me on YouTube or um, you're watching me on my blog, but you do not subscribe to my YouTube channel, I would love for you guys to hit that subscribe button. Um, again, remember, um, retirement products only, you only have till May 3rd. Um, and if you spend 50 with me before shipping um, and tax, you'll get one of these mailed to you for free, the Simple Chamois. That'll be mailed to you. And if you don't have a current demonstrator and you don't have a catalog and you need that sent to you, um, you would get that sent to you with a $20 purchase as well. Okay? You guys have a great rest of your day. Thank you for stopping by my weekly Wednesday, and I'll see you later. Bye!